Yeah, so NASA discovers long-sought global electric field on Earth, right? They're saying that a rocket team reports the first successful detection of Earth's uh, ambipolar electric field, a weak planet-wide electric field as fundamental as Earth's gravity and magnetic fields. Do you think that they're coming out and talking about this because they realize that more and more people are, are becoming aware of it and they have to be able to be in front of it because if ordinary citizens like Ashton Forbes, for instance, who's been you know, researching the MH370 you know, 370, 370 and alternative electricity, that, that, that the average person is now talking about this stuff and talking about ether and electroculture and that they're now trying to get out in front of it and then they're going to have to maybe unveil it in a way they can control and they can uh, you know, kind of manipulate. You can't tell me with a straight face. Two weeks ago, they started to put out all these news articles that now we have an electric field from 100 miles up all the way to the ground that has this electric frequency in it all the way around the whole planet that somehow they just discovered last two weeks ago. They've been talking about this for thousands of years. They talked about the ether. Tesla was tapping into this thing for wireless electricity in the 1880s, and suddenly just this last two weeks, they found it, they quote-unquote discovered it, and the amount of news headlines on this thing, if you're into the science news, it was like the number one news headline. They verified that there's a millivolt charge and actually voltage charge difference between the ionosphere and our ground. That you could maybe tap that and create electricity and atmospheric harvest it, and then people are now suddenly, well, you know what, not enough minerals, let's just go ahead and use this new system. This is way better than building solar panels, are you kidding me? They knew it right from the beginning there wouldn't be enough copper in the world to do it. They have to mine more copper in the next 30 years than they, than they did in the last 2,000 years to make this green transition work. So that's simple math, 30 years or 2,000 years, that's a big difference. But imagine moving over into this atmospheric harvesting 